Okay, okay, so here's the deal. This is geometry, and this is chapter 12, section 4, and this is the last section of geometry for this year. All right, you guys ready? Let's go. Okay, today we're looking at volumes of spheres. So if you take a sphere and you inscribe it in a cylinder, so that way the cylinder um, has the height that touches the sphere top and bottom. Um, that would make it the radius or the diameter from top to bottom, or two times the radius. So you take that sphere and you open it up and you use a hemisphere and you could scoop some sand or water like I did in the previous videos and you put that into that particular cylinder that has a height that's two times the radius, okay, and the same base that matches the uh, diameter of uh, the sphere. Then you fill up one hemisphere, it fills up a third of the cylinder. It takes three hemispheres to fill up the whole cylinder. So one hemisphere is one-third the volume of a cylinder uh, given these proportions. Okay, so um, one hemisphere would be one-third the pi r squared, pi r squared h, which is the same as a cone. But remember, the that's just a hemisphere. We want the whole sphere, so we would do this times 2. So times 2, so that would give us 2 thirds pi r squared h. But now h is 2 times the radius, so now we're going to replace h with 2 times the radius. So that's because a sphere doesn't actually have a height, right? It just has a radius. So 2 thirds pi r squared times 2r. And then we can simplify this expression. R, r squared times r will give us r cubed. And then the 2, we can multiply the 2 thirds by 2, and that gives us 4 thirds pi r cubed. So the volume is 4 thirds pi r cubed. All right, so you can add this to your notes. The volume of a sphere is 4 thirds pi r cubed. All right, let's use this newfound information we have here, finding the volume of a sphere. So we want to find the volume of this soccer ball. Remember, our new favorite formula is 4 thirds pi r cubed. Okay, all we need and all we have is the radius. So that is going to be 4 thirds pi times 4.5 cubed, and we use a calculator for this, typity typity type, we either get 121.5 pi, or since this was not given as a multiple of pi, we can give an approximation of 381.7, and that is in inches cubed. All right, finding the volume of this sphere. Now this time, Notice, tricky, tricky, they gave us the diameter. It said the diameter is 24. So first we have to find the radius. Radius is half the diameter, so half of this makes the radius equal 12. All right, and then back to our new favorite formula, 4 thirds pi r cubed. Now that we have the radius, we can insert that right there, 4 thirds pi times 12. 12 is going to be cubed. Type this into your trusty calculador and you get 2,304 pi, or we can get an approximation for this of 7,238.23, and this is in centimeters cubed. All right. Now we want to find the volume of a sphere, but what we know this time is not the radius, we know the surface area. So now we need to go back a couple of lessons and see what that formula for surface area was. And if you'll remember, the formula for the surface area was 4 pi r squared. So the 
surface area was 4 pi r squared. Okay, and now we know that the surface area is this right here. So we can replace surface area with 324 pi. That is 4 pi r squared. Now we want to solve that for r. So we can first, we can cancel out the pi on each side by dividing by pi, and then divide by 4 on each side. I could have written that here, we're dividing by pi on each side. There we go. That cancels out the pi here and there. Divided by 4, we get 81 is equal to r squared, and then we square root this square root it, and the radius is 9. Now, careful, we're not done. We've just found the radius. So now we want to find the volume. Our new favorite formula, 4 thirds pi r cubed. And then now we know the radius. That is 4 thirds pi times 9 cubed. Okay. Type that into your trusty calculator, and you get 972 pi for approximately 3,053.63. And this is in centimeters cubed. Okay, finding the volume of a hemisphere. A greenhouse is in the shape of a hemisphere with a diameter of 50 feet. All right. Notice diameter, okay, and here's important information, 50 feet. Find the volume of the greenhouse to the nearest cubic foot. All right, so first thing we want to do, again, is find the radius. All right, so radius is going to be half of the 50. So if the diameter is 50, then the radius is 25 feet. Okay, and next... We are looking for a hemisphere, all right? Hemisphere, hemi, hemis is half, so that's half a sphere. So we're going to do half of the four-thirds pi r cubed, all right? Because we want a hemisphere. Uh, and so radius is 25. Plug that in for r, 25 cubed. And a half of two third, uh, a half of four thirds is two thirds. Boom. And then type to type in the calculator, and we get approximately thirty two thousand seven hundred and twenty four point nine two. And this is in. We want this to the nearest cubic foot. So the volume is approximately 32,725 cubic feet. All right. Always make sure you round to whatever the instructions are. Okay. Finding the volume of a composite solid. These are always fun. Sometimes we're adding. This time, I think this is a bit of a poor illustration, but... Uh, I think this is hollowed out right here because it looks like there's a hemisphere that is inside this. So what we're doing is we're doing the cylinder and then we're doing cylinder, cylinder minus hemisphere. Okay, so that's the idea here. We'll find the volume of the cylinder and then subtract the volume of the hem hemisphere. Remember volume of the cylinder was pi r squared h. And then we're going to subtract a hemisphere, which is half of a sphere, half of 4 thirds pi r cubed. All right, we could simplify that, enter in what we know. We know the height, we know the radius, so that's pi. Height, our radius is 2, 2 squared times 2 minus half of 4 thirds is 2 thirds. Pi and radius is 2 cubed. All right. And 2 squared times 2 gives us 8. 8 pi minus, and this gives us 16 thirds pi. All right. And that is 
is eight thirds pi. You can change eight into 24 thirds to subtract these. And then that is approximately 8.38, and this is in inches cubed. All right, and we've got a real life problem. The unisphere in New York City is a spherical model of the Earth. The circumference of this model is about its equator is 37 pi meters. All right, so now they're saying circumference. All right, find the volume of the unisphere to the nearest cubic meter. Uh, now we need circumference. Circumference, if you recall, circumference is 2 pi r. All right, and the circumference is 37, so we can replace circumference with 37 pi equals 2 pi r. Divide each side by 2 pi to find the radius. Right, that cancels out the pi, and then half of 37 is 18.5, and that is the radius. So now, volume, new favorite formula, 4 thirds pi r cubed, and that is 4 thirds pi times 18.5 cubed, and that gives us an approximate volume uh, of 26,521.85. Now, they want this to the nearest cubic meter. All right, so we need to round this. The volume is approximately 26,520, and this rounds up to meters cubed. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's been real. It's been fun. Thank you for joining me on this wild ride through the geometry course. And I hope you check back in again another time. Maybe re-watch these lessons. It's been fun. See you later.